Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Billy and this is Craft and Cake with Billy. I hope everyone's doing well today. And if you are new to my channel, I wanna welcome you and welcome everyone here today. So I've had a few people ask me about these pokey tools that I use here. I don't really know the technical term to call them. I don't, I guess they're called pokey tools. That's what I've always heard people call them. This is by far not my idea, um, but I do like to make these for um, using to help unclog my glue. And if you are, um, if you have like a cuddle bug or a cricket or any sort of die cutting machine, it helps you get the little pieces out of, you know, how to punch out the paper to make different shapes. It just helps you get in those little nooks and crannies. So these are pokey tools and I wanted to decorate some with you today. Um, I have some martini stirs that I got on clearance a while back and um, I wanted to try them with martini stirs. I don't know if people normally use those, but um, I'm gonna do one with the martini stirrer and the other just with the pins. And you can get these on Amazon, you can get these in any craft store, uh, Walmart or anything like that, any place like that. So I'm gonna show you how to do one with the martini stirrer and then we'll do one with a pin. So I'm gonna move, the, this is uh, like, these are the martini stirs and this this is a pin. I didn't show you the, the regular pin, but that's one that I decorated with just a pin. I'm gonna move this to the side so you guys can see what I am doing here. So you're just gonna need a pin or a martini stirrer. And um, I like to start off with some, the little, um, jewelry making tool, the jewelry making bits. Um, these are separators, so you can get any kind of separator that you want. I'll be using the flat ones and the small round ones, circular ones, and just a couple of beads, so, um, and also a flower if you wanna use a flower. You don't have to use a flower, you can just use strictly beads, but it's totally up to you. I am gonna start with my martini stirrer and I'm going to use a flat separator here. I'm gonna put that on first and then I wanna put my flower on. Now this flower that I'm using here is kind of styrofoam but you can use the paper ones, you can use the silk ones, whatever you wanna use. So it should look like this. And that's a little separator. It makes a um, kind of like a center of your flower. I think it's pretty that way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add another one, a flat one underneath the flower. And then I'm gonna add a bead of my choice. I have chosen this white bead with the bits of bling. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one of the small round separators here. It looks like that. Okay, all right. So while you're doing that, make sure your hot glue gun is getting ready so that um, when it's time to secure it, your glue gun will be ready. All right, you know what? Do I wanna do it that way? Yes, we do. All right, so let's add another flat separator here and another bead like that 
maybe another flat piece. And make sure that your flat pieces kind of cup over the top and the bottom. You see how that goes? If you turn it a certain way, um, it'll give you a totally different look. For example, you could turn it that way and it'll, I kind of like that though. Hmm. Let's just, let's just be different. We'll do it that way. We're gonna add, let's add a small round one and then a bead. I like it. And then maybe another little separator at the bottom just to finish the look. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add a bead of glue around the bottom of this last bead. And then I'm gonna put that last separator on there. So, give me one second to just add a little bit of glue on there. My glue gun, the um, cord is not gonna reach right now, so I have to do this quickly. All right, so I have added the glue, as you can see. And then I'm just gonna press it onto that last bead. You're gonna have some extra glue, that's fine. You're just gonna take your finger and kind of move it around and pull that extra glue off. If that's not enough glue, you can go back. I might need to put a little bit more glue on this one. Let me just do that just to be safe. And it's okay if you have extra glue on your piece because you can always just wipe it off. Okay, all right. So I think that one's cute. All right, so we have that one. And let's make one using the little pins. And we'll make this one a little bit smaller since it's smaller than the martini stir. And let's make this one, let's use the yellow. I don't normally use yellow. Let's just do that and see, see how it goes. Now I have some gold separators here, spacers or whatever you like to call them. Let's just try to see what this looks like. I'm not making any promises here, guys. <laughs> now this flower is a paper flower. Oh, that's kind of cute. That's the center. I have a paper flower here. And let's see what colors we want to use we can use some gold some white some yellow let's kind of stir around in our bowl of goodies to see what we have i have some gold i have some white i also have some yellow let's see believe it or not i have some yellow so i got these couple strings of beads a while back and I'm sure they're on clearance they were on clearance because otherwise I probably wouldn't have gotten them because these are not my colors but we're gonna snip the ends and see where it goes okay let's work with these uh oh they're already flying off all right let's start with a spacer maybe the gold and let's see, let's try a gold bead. Uh, do I like that? I'm not sure. Let's try the white. Now this is something you have to kind of play around with to see what you like because it doesn't always turn out perfectly. You have to kind of play around with it. These are uh, some more spacers that I got. And 
And this is kind of like the old rustic look here. But I kind of like that. These yellow, this yellow might be a little too much for this. Let's try a pearl. Let's try a pearl. Okay. Okay, maybe a couple of yellows. We need a spacer, don't we? Let's do a spacer. A spacer. This is a silver spacer. And a yellow bead. Maybe a few yellow beads. There are no rules to this. No rhyme or reason. You just make it however you like. So this one, I'm gonna put three yellow beads on the end just to bring out the yellow in that flower. And I'm just gonna put a dab of hot glue on the end again. Sorry, I had a bead in my mouth. <laughs> and there's our last bead on the end. Just gonna rub off that extra. And there we have one that is not pink. Super cute. And these are a lot of fun to make. Um, if you have not tried to make these um, pokey tools, they are very nice to have in your stash and they're very convenient to have when your glue gets stuffed because you know that happens all the time in the craft world. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for um, all of your um, support and I do appreciate you so very much. If you have not yet checked out my 500 subscriber video, I have an, a couple of announcements on there that I would love for you to see. And thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.